As a gardener, I've always looked for perennial vegetables, those that I can plant just once and then harvest for years. And today I would like to share with you 10 perennial vegetables that I grow in my garden. And I would like to start with my favorite ramps or wild garlic. This is an amazing vegetable. Ramps have this pungent garlicky smell and taste, but so delicious. The leaves last only during short window. As soon as the tree canopy closes in the spring, the leaves go away. The bulbs are always there, of course, but it's hard to find them once there is no leaves. Ramps grow wild in the woods of North America. If you're lucky enough to stumble across a ramp patch, then never pick every ramp in a cluster. It's recommended to take no more than 10% of the mature ramps that you see in the woods. Or even better, harvest just one of three broad green leaves so the rest of the plant can continue through its life cycle. Of course, you can try growing ramps in your own garden. This is what I do. Three years ago, I had planted ramps bulbs in my little backyard garden under the grape vine, and they grow happily over there. Next perennial vegetable is another leafy green called sorrel. I love sorrel a lot. It's so bright and fresh, and in Europe, sorrel is often served with other foods associated with spring, like new potatoes, eggs, tender greens. Chefs love sorrel because it brings acidity and beauty to a dish. Sorrel is quite easy to grow and you can even forage it, but it's not always so easy to find commercially. It's highly perishable, so they don't often make it to the supermarket. The best season to harvest sorrel is in the early spring before the plants go to seed. Besides the regular or common sorrel, there is also red-veined sorrel, which I just started last year from seed and it's so beautiful. When I'm out in the garden working, I can't pass by the sorrel without picking a leaf and munching on it. It's so sour and delicious. It's like a spinach with lime. You can use it in salads. You can cook it the same way you would do spinach. I personally like to use sorrel in traditional Ukrainian soup called green borscht, which we make with sorrel and boiled eggs. Because it has such a short lifespan, you can preserve sorrel by blanching it, squeezing, drying, and then freezing in plastic bags. Unfortunately, sorrel loses its beautiful green color when cooked. Next vegetable that's perennial is lovage. Lovage tastes like a cross between celery and parsley. Some people say celery and sage or oregano. Regardless, its celery-like flavor is definitely prominent. Lovage is not a vegetable that you'll find in the supermarket, but at farmer's markets you can find it. But it's so easily grown in the garden. It can become an eight foot tall bush when it is in the right place. Its leaves taste best in the spring or early summer before it goes to seed. The dried root is sometimes used by herbalists in aphrodisiac plants. It has love in the name, after all. In some parts of Europe, lovage is often eaten as vegetable, but it is rarely done in the United States. 
One thing I would like to try with lovage is to grow it as microgreen and use as a young herb. Lovage can be a bit overpowering, so a little goes a long way. Asparagus is one of the most famous vegetables and one of the first crops you can harvest each spring. As soon as these beautiful spares punch through the soil, it serves as an indicator that you can start planting your annual vegetables. When asparagus is in season, you need to be vigilant. Over a span of a single day, not quite ready, yet spare can become overgrown and tough. It's amazing to observe how the top of a spare is unraveling into ferns and the stem becomes tough as wood. I love the way asparagus looks in my garden, even when it's not in season. Asparagus plants can be both male and female, and female plants producing thinner stalks and red berries, which unfortunately are not edible. Rhubarb is a famous pie plant, and many people think of it as a dessert ingredient. Even though botanically it's a vegetable, the US Custom Court declared it as a fruit. Rhubarb is not only used in sweet desserts, it can also be used in meat stews. In the Middle East, people have used it for centuries as a culinary ingredient in meat dishes. Another perennial vegetable that you should try in your garden is sunchoke, also known as Jerusalem artichoke. They are grown for its tubers that when cooked are similar to potatoes. I like growing sunchokes in my garden even though they are quite a bit invasive, so you have to be careful and if you don't like them somewhere just dig them out. They can grow to be quite tall, 5 to 7 feet, and when they bloom, they have these beautiful sunflower-like flowers that pollinators just adore. Sunchokes are incredible when roasted, like potatoes. Also, you can make hash browns with them, and in Germany and other parts of Europe, they are even used as a basis for brandy or other cordials. When harvesting in a late fall, make sure you get all of the tubers from the ground because it will spread. Any small piece of root or tuber left in the ground after harvest will continue to reproduce year after year. If you want to grow sunchokes, you don't have to start them with seed, you plant a tuber just like you do with potatoes. Next perennial vegetable I have growing in my garden is fennel. This is bronze fennel, not the bulbing version. Unfortunately, bulbing fennel is not perennial in my area, but in some areas they are. Anyway, bronze fennel is an amazing vegetable as well. Early in the spring I use it just like I would do dill, then later I let it grow wild because I am waiting for it to bloom and also insects love fennel. You can see how this cute caterpillar is devouring the stem of the fennel. And I don't mind sharing, there is enough for all of us. These beautiful caterpillars are future swallowtail butterflies, which I like observing in my garden. When fennel blooms, you can use it in your pickling recipes, just like you would do dill. I always let a lot of the fennel blooms to finish and go to seed, because I value fennel seeds a lot. I love using fennel in my tea blends, especially 
digestive formula because fennel is great to use when you need subtle upset stomach it is gentle enough to give even to infants i like combining fennel seeds together with chamomile and lemon balm also linden and rose chewing fennel seeds to improve the breath and aid in digestion is very common in india and candied fennel can be found in many indian restaurants fennel seeds also help women who are suffering with menstrual cramps because it has anti-inflammatory properties also fennel seeds are sometimes added to cough and cold syrups both for flavor and medicinal purposes i also use fennel seeds as part of my spice blends chives are very popular and most people have heard and use them but garlic chives are lesser known cousin of regular chives they have flat wider leaves and true to their name their flavor is more garlicky than standard chives because they are harder to find than standard chives these are fun one to grow in the garden and unlike standard chives garlic chives hold up well to cooking becoming mellow and sweet especially when stir-fried you can also use the leaves and flowers just like standard chives as a raw garnish or in green sauces like pesto i love having garlic chives in my garden another perennial vegetable is mountain spinach also known as caucasian spinach it is a climbing variety easy to grow from seed i started mine last year and then transplanted them into the garden they take few years to establish and then you can use them just the same way as you would use regular spinach which means you can cook them saute them use raw in salads or make smoothie out of them great to have perennial spinach besides the annual varieties next vegetable is a member of the rose family but it has a strange name salad burnet it's actually an old medicinal herb that's native to the mediterranean and often appears in european salad plants the leaves of salad burnet have cucumber flavor and are the most tender and delicate in the spring and later in summer they turn tougher tender salad brunette leaves can be added raw to salads or used as a garnish anywhere you want a cucumber like flavor and the tougher leaves can be blanched first before using and a bonus vegetable is claytonia also known as miner's lettuce i'm not sure if you can call it perennial it is a self-seeder though so once you plant it it will replant itself from year to year miner's lettuce isn't actually a lettuce it's a tender green native to north america and it grows wild but you can easily grow it at home miner's lettuce got its name from the gold rush miners who ate it to stave off disease caused by vitamin c deficiency it has a mild flavor very crunchy succulent leaves and i just love having it in my garden when it blooms it has tiny white flowers there is no need to collect the seeds of claytonia unless you want to share with your friends and family because once those seeds form they'll just drop down and grow the next year very easy vegetable to have in the garden so these were the vegetables i already have growing in the garden there are a few more perennial vegetables i would like to have one of them is good king henry turkish rocket cold hardy chili nine star cauliflower and edible chrysanthemum 
I have the seeds of all of them already and I will be planting them this year. So stay tuned, I'll definitely let you know how my experiment with perennial vegetables is going. What perennial vegetables are you growing? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!